microphone and uh, kick the dog out of the laundry room there. I love your Stanley Cup, by the way. Thank you. I don't think we're ever going to have a parade over here, but that's fine. (laughs) Yeah, I think you might be right, buddy. But <laughs> hey, that don't matter. We we can be happy about something tonight because it is finally Clash of the Titans. Man, it has been a round robin. You guys didn't get a, we didn't get a chance to see all that. Obviously, we couldn't stream all the round robin, but that's been going on, and we're gonna get to that. A little bit of a brief update about what happened. Everything you want to know. Who is in the finals? So we're gonna give that to you in a minute. But first. We just want to give a big shout out of thanks for everybody that's here tonight. Uh, for those who are watching on the stream, all 45 of you, for those of you who subscribe, uh, who come over and check us out. If you haven't done it, do it again at rocketlads.com. And you can follow all of these uh, stats, the different tournaments, get updated on what is available to be watched here on Twitch, right here at uh, twitch.tv slash rocketlads. So uh, you can follow us on a number of other platforms too. We got YouTube, we got Instagram, we got Facebook, we got Twitter. So if you're into some awesome, fun Rocket Lads, or Rocket League action, come check us out in all these platforms. So, uh, and we got a bit of an announcement to make. I'm gonna hand it over to uh, to Lego here. Now, if you if you're associated with Rocket Lads or you watched us a little bit, then you already know about this. But we got season five, baby, finally coming back. It's looming. What are some of the details that we need to know uh, about this season, Lego? It's gonna be great. Yeah. So certainly something to get excited about for season five. Uh, We're going to start with our player requirement. We want to try and get 42 players. Uh, Divide that by three, and you get a good number there. I can't – I don't know the exact (laughs) Uh, math on that. I think 16, but it doesn't sound right. (laughs) More like 14 teams. Uh, We need at least a minimum of 24 people, so make sure you get yourself signed up. But if we can hit that 42 max, it should be a great season. Our registration will be open from September 12th, which is, in fact – today Boom. to october 1st that's our tentative schedule now the round robin it's going to start november 1st and end and december 20th so you only got about uh, just over a month to finish your round robin matches so we can get right into the wild card weekend which happens all right on that winter break and then our playoffs start december 27th to february 20th it gives us a nice long time to get ready for those exciting playoff matches yeah it is and i cannot wait for that oh. it's going to be great and obviously he said you, I think you covered this about our, we've set the bar a little bit higher. You've got to be yeah. platinum to hit up season five. Now that's, you know, for those of you who are a little bit newer and you're playing and you're thinking, man, that's a big bar. You can do this, right? Sign up is going to be open up until October the 1st. You've got time to get in there. You don't have to have, you know, to be in there when the tournament starts, just hit platinum. And if you've been in platinum at all this season, you can sign up. And uh, and don't get yeah. your friend to boost you to platinum. Make it there yourself, because <laughs> <laughs> you know you're gonna you're gonna feel the difference when you get in there and all these platinum players. But it's gonna be so so much fun. And what it's gonna do too from season four, like we've had so much fun season one through five or four. But it's gonna elevate all the rocket lad skill too, right? When we bring it in at a platinum level. So I know everyone's gonna really yeah. really enjoy that, and it's gonna be great. I can't wait to play. Cannot wait, and I can't wait to be should back be on the good. on the booth. Bye with you. <laughs> should be good. Else. Be fun, a little bit tighter matches this season, hopefully. So, oh yeah, for be fun sure. To cast. Yeah. Speaking of which, uh, you know, when it came to Clash of the Titans today, you know, and it's the same thing. Like it's it's always the same thing with every tournament. Oh, guys, this is the teams. This is we're gonna work out. We think this is gonna be mint, and you always get that. Oh man, you know, this team's gonna kill everybody, right? We're it's gonna crush everybody. And uh, wasn't the case here today so much, was it? No, not at all. It was all close matches today. Yeah, brief overview of what we just did. The round robin, so everyone knows, is done. Obviously, we would have loved to bring you all day, you know, bacon and egg, rocket lad start, and cover all these round robins. But it's a lot of work for our, our video crew and producing, and, other, and you know, Leg and I and everybody so involved. And your eyes have been falling out of your head by the time. So we saved the best <laughs> for last, right? The finals, the semifinals, finals are what we're going to see. You were going to be able to see, you know, two fantastic semifinal matches, best of five. And then our big grand finale of the finals, best of seven. Man, going to be insane. But what happened in the round robin? Well, I was just looking over the, the sheet here, it was not a blowout by any means. A lot of these teams, <laughs> so close. One goal games, nail biters, a lot of 2-1 match. So they played a best of three, right? Yeah, so robin. each team uh, played a best of three against every other opponent. So six teams, you'd play five other teams, 15 games total is what people played close to, really. Yeah, yeah. And I'm looking over the board here. There's not a single team that got blanked all the way through. 
Uh, everybody got some wins on the board. I think the the if I'm looking at the standings here correctly, even our our last place teams, teams that didn't make the finals, right? Which I know I'm, everyone's like, just tell us who they are, but we're getting there. Uh, even the last place teams went two and three. So a very, very balanced. In fact, the last two teams went two and three. The top four teams who we're about to announce went respectively uh, three and two, three and two, three and two, and two and three. So even those last two teams, if it wasn't for you know a, a matter of head to head, it would have been a very different. Uh, just would, well, would have would have changed somebody around a little bit. So oh, yeah. very tight, very close, and and yet here we are. So we are we have we held up. Held him off enough yet, or what? What do you think? Yeah, I think it's time to tell him who got out and who's in. So, right. uh, yeah. You want to do it, Let's, or you want me to do well, the Well, yeah, honest? I feel like we're going to do we, – we, I feel like a drum roll is necessary. Here, so in fourth place, we're going to work this up to the, from the bottom. Fourth place, and bear in mind, too, that how we're going to do this round is the top team will play the fourth team. So one versus four, two versus three, and that's how we're going to break it down to getting into uh, who's going to play first. And we're going to get that two and three matchup right away off the bat save one versus four and then bear and then the winners of course advance to the finals losers are eliminated i don't believe we're doing any loser bracket at that point are we no it's single e limb today single e limb today all right fantastic so in fourth place and i'll let lego announce in fourth place with a record of two and three and this one was a close one is the bruno crew bruno crew sneaks in there in the fourth place so uh they are gonna we're well, we're going to tell you, you'll figure it out. We're just going to go right to third. Third place. Third place. And this was a nail biter. The Kimmy Gibblers. Two Kimmy point Gibblers. Up. Big congratulations. <laughs> to Kimmy. My personal favorite team name, as you guys all know, I have been lobbying season after season after season, calling to any team. I don't like their name. I just call them the Kimmy Gibblers. And then, then they got me back this year. I can't because there's an actual Kimmy Gibblers. And I love it. I love it. Well, we got to watch for Kimmy Gibblers 3.0. I want to see what that team comprises. I of. hope I'm on that team. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> And all right, second place. Second place is Dax Street Boys. Uh, congrats to Dax Street Boys. Had a solid, solid uh, tournament. Three wins, three losses, eight goals, four, uh, seven against. So right there, very close. In fact, we didn't mention the other two, Team Four and Team Three. So Bruno Mars, seven, seven goals, four, eight against. Kimmy Gibbler, six and six. Like this was a very, very tight tournament. Even. Uh, our two eliminated teams, which I won't tell you yet until we tell you the first place. So let's just get to that. In first place overall in the round robin to advance to the playoffs in first position. Air Biscuits! Air Biscuits. <laughs> Congratulations to Air Biscuits, which means our hat is off if it wasn't for this microphone. And we tip a cap to Tri Pulaski. And uh, yeah, there we go. We'll do it proper. There you go. It's Tri Pulaski and Atmospheric who find themselves on the outs today, and their day is done. They're going home, but they played an absolutely awesome tournament. Uh, they they themselves, uh, Atmospheric was the only one with a negative goal against ratio. They ended up scoring f uh, sh uh, four, uh, seven against, uh, six and six for Tripolowski. So, so, I mean, a couple of goals here or there. This whole round robin shapes up completely different than who we see in the finals. Don't you agree? Yeah. This is a very close day and uh, should be very interesting to see how these finals matches go because, uh, I mean, everything's hard fought. So expect to see some overtimes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, we got to get to that round robin uh, review. I mean, pardon me, the, the, what we're going to do as far as rewards go for these guys coming into the playoffs. But first, you remember the Clash of the Titans Pick'em Challenge. And uh, here to update you, we're going to just hand it right to our producer, Talf, as he's the, the man, he's the top dog who runs all the Pick'em Challenge. So if you were playing in the Pick'em Challenge and you made some picks, here's a bit of rundown from Talf. Uh, take it away. And how are we doing on the Pick'em Challenge? Were, were they close? They were and they weren't. We had <laughs> 12 entries. Nobody really liked Dax Street Boys to win, you know? No one picked oh! them. Yeah, kind of hurts. Kind of hurts. Second. I know, right? <laughs> Uh, oh, however, awesome. the top dogs with the most votes to win the whole thing was Tripolowski. Yep. Oh, oh, oh yeah. no. And they're not, they're not even in. They're not even in. So, and, and second place was Bruno crew in fourth. So no one, no one uh, picking. Wow. You the air people biscuits not even on the radar. Picks. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Was it, was it a big gap, Talf? Um, the top 
one and two and three were all off by one. And then the wow. rest. Actually, you know what? Air Biscuits also. No one picked them to win. Nobody. Not one person. Not I love one that. person. Yeah, I love that. Except I'm a liar. There is one. My apologies. So, yeah. Who, just who Dax, is it? Just Dax Street Boys is sitting. Sitting by themselves with no no one uh, picked them to win. Wow. I love that Dax Street Boys just gets it. Not mic drop. What are you? Wrench drop? Just boom. Second place. Boom. What? Have faith. But who, I feel who like it might be the team name, name, to be honest. Does it show you who picked Air Biscuits to win it? I don't want to reveal that right now. Oh! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you Hold tease. Up on us. That's okay. That's awesome. All right, but uh, so there's going to be also some prizes after that. How's it going to work from here on in? For for as far as the the, not not for the root for the picks. Yeah. Who's the winner? Or who's yeah, looking, no, looking the like the winner? Yeah. How yeah are they... you going to announce like later on? Obviously, these pick them challenges yes. they advance through the playoffs as well. Right, the so this, this was for the in, entire event. Who was going to win it all, or who was going to be in this? What we're going to watch right now, these two matches, and then who's going to oh. take it all? I did it all as one giant thing, and your points will be awarded to you late this evening or tomorrow morning. So there's some sad people already. Whenever <laughs> I feel oh, like. <laughs> all right, thanks for that, Del, for jumping in there and getting us up to and date also, on that. Yeah, uh, thank you, Dax. Plays. Whoever wins the Pickums. You get a 500 credit to your account. Whoa, your 500 account. credits. Not and all you had card, to but... do was pick Dax Street Boys. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. That's a big reward. That's awesome. That's great. So be excited about the Pick'em Challenge. 500 credits to you if you got it right today. So stay tuned to that. Stick around. Watch the matches. It's going to be an awesome event. But there's more prizes coming your way. So we got, I mean, what would be a clash of titans? You know, this big monumental tournament we cannot wait we've been waiting forever to see if there wasn't going to be no rewards so what do we got caleb for our first place finals the guys win the top dogs big kahunas they win the whole thing what do they get so to start they get 1500 credits i think that's the right number 1500 uh, do we tell them now or do we keep them waiting yeah well what does number two get 1500 number credits two number gets one. 900 credits that's huge yes. 1500 credits for your team split what, three ways, 500 credits a piece, unless your captain is greedy. Who knows? And then you get all that. You get all the credits. Go buy whatever swag, Rocket Lad swag or Rocket League swag you want. 900 for team two. And then I heard earlier today that there's one captain that is, he's just so just jacked up for this tournament. He's putting 1,500 credits of his own money on the line. 1,500 credits from his account on the line to the winner. Josh Ola has dropped the mic and said, come at me, bro. 1,500 credits if you win. That's for the picks. That's for not picking his team in the pick'ems. That's He's for targeting everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but to be clear, you win this thing, not to pick them. You win this thing. Winning team, 3,000 credits today. Because Josh Ola ponied up 1,500. So if you're out there on Twitch, big, big, big thank you to Josh. Big round of applause and hit him up and say, oh, my goodness. Now, I asked what happens. Well, what if you win it? He's like, I guess I keep my money. <laughs> so don't let that happen, people. Don't let that happen if you want some hey, free Hey, I just need to uh, – there's a – just word just came in. There's another 1,500 added to that. From who? Uh, so oh. I, can they hear you or are we just getting this in our ear? Uh, no, I, I think they can hear me because I'm in the channel with you. But yeah, add oh, another 15 onto that. Okay, well, 45. from yours truly. From your, oh my goodness! Oh. So they're separating the men from the boys here. See, number two was like 900. Hey, that's not bad. But 4,500 credits now to win this thing. 4,500 credits. You can split it any way you want if you're the winners. I hope the players are listening. We should at least tell them. Maybe it's just the stream that's here, and the players think it's 1,500 credits. We'll tell. We'll let them know. So that'll fire them up and get them going. That is awesome. Big thank you to Dax for ponying up another 1,500. So we cannot wait to get in on this thing. What's your pick em? What do you think, Caleb? Who takes this? I pick him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah it's no. Time. It's time. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That's a I tough know. choice. It, it <laughs> My gut instinct is either Dax Street or Kimmy. But since one of the two of them gets eliminated, I, I don't know. I have a feeling whoever wins that match should should win the finals. Going to be bold. You think Dax Street or Kimmy takes yeah. this one? Yeah. I'm 
Okay, sure. I'm going to. Yeah. Man, yeah, those are good picks. Okay, but I'm going to say, so when I first looked at these teams, and now I'm, I'm kind of doubting myself, I'm still all in on the Bruno crew in fourth place taking this all. Because when I first looked at these teams, I thought, this team, this team can't be beat. This team is going to be, this is going to be outstanding. So cookies, uh, the boys, <laughs> I need to pull your socks up. I'm rooting for you. I think, I think uh, Bruno crew comes in first. And then uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go Kimmy Gibblers second. Those are some bold picks. I think those are fair picks. I I mean, everybody in the top four is is very close. Oh yeah. Uh, and I think Air Biscuits also have a good argument just because of Fargo and Buster, who both work well together, and then they have Blank Outcast. Mm. But they do like to play on West servers, and we usually play on East servers. So they're at a slight disadvantage when it yep. comes to these higher stake games. Um, but I mean, they've been able to do it before. So like, I get like, it's hard to pick because oh, it is. Like, they're all good. <laughs> they're yeah. all so good. Yeah. And, and that leads us to our next point. And please uh, production, tell us if the players are ready and they're in there, just let us know. We'll give us something here. But uh, I do want to get Lego's thoughts on this. So we're used to our regular season. It's a blend of grand champs or champs all the way down to, you know, guys that are playing in bronze or, or whatnot. And that, that presents it whole different, you know, set of challenges right so but for this this is a champ only tournament your mindset coming into here what is the the variance for error like you know you could if you got a guy that's lagging back he doesn't get the back post in our regular scheduled tournaments you know your champs they kind of help out they bail you out in a champ only tournament what is the margin for error how tight are these games going to be coming into the final do you think so the interesting thing to start with champ is that each of the divisions generally the the if they're two apart, they're about the same. Like champ one and champ two, about the same. Champ three is different than champ one and two, and you can see that. So players who are in the higher ranks are going to have a little bit more experience getting quicker rotations because everything you do up in those higher ranks is just faster. So here you need to be consistent, but you also need to be communicating with your team and making sure that you're playing at a speed where everybody's connecting, but you don't want to be too fast because the other team's going to be doing the same thing. Um, that doesn't mean that stupid stuff isn't going to happen because it always does it's rocket league it's just part of the game yeah um, yeah <laughs> but there's going to be a lot more bumps there's going to be a lot more plays to aggravate you they're going to be quicker on the ball and so your mind game is going to be a uh, a bigger part of of being in higher up you know mechanics are nice and fancy and all but everybody learns how to stop certain shots at certain times eventually um so it's just it's an entirely different game from from lower ranks and each champ rank is somewhat a little different uh so it's just it, it just keeps getting on a, a different level each time so yeah so yep. speed and consistency and communication are are very essential to this and what i yeah i couldn't agree more and what i expect to see more of tonight is less random shots goals solo efforts and more team play, more set passing plays, or at least setups that we can see, you know, pop out to center, big air goals, lots more stuff up off the ground. Going to be super exciting to watch. And by the way, just a big thank you for Lion Lad. Subscribe for five months. So, and if I miss, if we miss a subscription, it's hard to watch the, everything in the chat at once. Thank you for your subscription, Lion Lad. And to Zadio, if that's how I say that, you wear your Rocket Lads merch with absolute pride, man. I mean, don't let those college guys push you around. Forget that. I work at an underground salt mine. It's a bunch of meatheads down there, and I wear my Rocket Lad merch with pride. It's beautiful. They don't got no, they don't got no taste. They don't got no taste. That's not on you, right? The I'm only thing about, they have this is thing? college Dude. debt. Yeah, that's got right. him. Yeah. yeah, that's all right. Go cry about your OSAP. This guy makes some <laughs> great, great fashion purchases. Just follow suit. You know what? You should give them a link to where they can look like you, too. That's all they need to know. They're jealous. They're just jealous. <laughs> They're definitely jealous. Oh, man. That's all. Thanks for coming out, by the way, Zadio, and sharing that. That's awesome. So how close are we to getting these guys in the pitch? I'm getting excited to watch them. Yeah, they're ready to go. They are ready. So, hey, without any further ado, we've covered this pretty well. Just a reminder, we've got Dax Street. No, we do not have that. I'm looking at the <clears> wrong <throat> bunch of guys. No, I'm right. Dax Street versus Kimmy Gimblers. Yeah, Dax Street Boys versus Kimmy Gimblers 2.0. Coming up first, stay in tune. Best of five. Winner's going to advance to the finals. Then we're going to watch Air Biscuits. So first versus fourth, Bruno Crew. Winner will advance to the finals. Losers will go 
cry their sad, sad tears because their tournament will be over and then the big show begins. So let's take you down to the pitch and let's get this game number one on the uh, 